Now two flags fly above my land that really sum up how I feel. One is the colors that fly high and proud, the red, the white, the blue. The other one's got a rattlesnake with a simple statement made. Don't tread on me is what it says, and I'll take that. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. Uh, I'm going to kind of show y'all something that I normally don't do. Um, I got rods on order for the giveaway. Um, I kind of mentioned this in one video. Uh, my real dad gave me uh, a rod, fishing rod um, from the early... 70s it's called wonder glass um these things are stout as shit uh, um get off my dog uh they use them in the ocean and everything else uh, it's got a bunch of tape on it and holding the eyes in place it had tape where the reel was at he had the wrong kind of reel because this is actually set up for you know like i said they're for ocean and everything like that and it's actually set up for like button reels and bait casters and stuff like that. He had a great big old ocean open face, an old school pin, um, which is awesome. Them old pins are worth a fortune. Um, I'm gonna use it. I I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna let a buddy of mine take it. That old pin. We're gonna take it down to uh, Indiana Catfish Association on on the fourth of next month, fourth uh, of August. We're gonna go do that uh, fishing trip. That bank tournament, but I want to show y'all what this rod looks like before I do it, because I'm going to make it like my bit, my big bub here, kitty kitties. So do not mistake this as an actual here kitty kitty, because it is not a blank. Um, yes, I've got to strip it down. Yes, I got to redo it all, um, but it is by no means a here kitty kitty rod. I am going to put the here kitty kitty logo on it because that's my logo. Um, I'm going to restore this for myself. Um, he used to fish with this when he was younger. Um, so I'm going to redo this rod and get everything set up and I'm going to make it, you know, like my here kitty kitties with the glow and everything on it, uh, the reflect, not the glow, the reflective. And of course, you know me, I'm going to do paracord handle because I love my paracord handles over everything else. And I am going to do um, orange. Of course, because you know me, I love my orange. Orange and red are my favorite two colors. Um, so I just wanted to show y'all what this rod actually looks like and what I've got to work with. What is amazing on this rod, though, it, it's old school, um, but it, it's still running. Here, let me, let me turn my camera around here. There's the handle. I took the tape off of it. He had it taped all the way up onto this, but this is an all-steel steel not aluminum steel okay real seat that real seat is heavy as hell i on mine you know which i've upgraded to the uh this the aluminum real seat they're they're uh three times strong aluminum real seats supposed to be as good as these old steel ones <coughs> and it's got the double locking nuts on it and it's, it's got the eyes that I run on my here kitty kitties right right here is the the exact same eyes but as you can see he's got the eyes taped up I took tape off of this one and as you can see there's like nothing holding it on I'm gonna strip this all down down back to the regular glass there's more tape and then here here's a regular Let me get this the focus focus there we go and you can see that it it's all gone there's like i can feel all the threads every one of them the epoxy's gone on this but this thing's actually rated for 12 ounces of lead 12 ounces of lead that is freaking crazy i'm um, best i can do with a two times heavy and heavies that i can get a hold of are 10 ounces max so I'm, I'm going to fix this up and I'm going to start fishing with it on a regular basis. Um, I'm going to do away with the wood handle. Um, I'm going to do paracord because I like my paracord. I'm going to do away with the, the top foam piece. It's going to be paracord too. <clears throat> but 
but I just want to, you know, this is going to be start of the video. I'm going to do like a, a whole segment of this rod being tore down and put back together. I'm going to show y'all exactly what's going on like each stage after I get it done. Um, it's hard to run the camera and do what I do at the same time while it's on the rod turner and the dryer. Um, but I'm going to tear it down. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make it white. Most definitely it's going to be white. I, I That's all I run is white rods. Um, it's going to be white. It's going to have the reflectors. It's going to be orange. I'm probably going to throw some black in there or maybe some orange and green. I don't know yet. Um, I know I've got plenty of orange paracord still, so I'm going to run the orange paracord. But this is just the first part of this video. I'm going to, obviously it'll be edited, so it'll go right into the next piece. Um, but this is stage one, um, tear down. And then I'll, I'll hit y'all up on stage two when I've got it. You know, the eyes retied and painted and ready to go on a rod turner because I got to strip it down take all the eyes off of it strip it back down the glass remarble the whole thing I got to take because I got to turn it white so I got to remarble the whole rod white marble with um, flex coat epoxy uh, then I got to tie my eyes on, put them, go through, make sure they're all in the right places, get them set for the backbone. I'm going to go through. Yes, I know this rod's old, and back in the day they really built these bad boys, but I'm still going to check for the backbone to make sure, because I'll rip the reel seat off and I'll turn it. I'll put it, I'm going to make this work like I do mine. I check for the backbone, all my eyes, you know, if it runs. If it's a bait casting one, which this one's going to be, it'll run along the top of the backbone. And if it's a spinning reel, uh, your eyes run underneath the backbone. This one here, I want it to run up, run over. Because if you get your backbone off, the rod will want to turn in your hand. It won't. It doesn't. When you're fighting a big fish, it doesn't want to stay straight. Um, but I just want to go ahead and give you all a little little preview of what this thing looks like. I mean, it's cool as hell kind of give you all an idea how big his tip is on this thing though like you know it's it's decent like this is a regular three inch screw wood screw you know as y'all can see you can see the rod on both sides of it it's like as big it's as big around as the head of that screw so this is going to be very interesting but I'll get back to y'all here in a little bit with what, what I got after I'm done. See y'all here in a bit. Hey y'all, Big Bub here from Big Bub Outdoors. <clears throat> I showed you earlier today that I was going to restore uh, a Wonder Glass rod from the 70s um, that my father gave me. That used to be his. Uh, I stripped it all down. As y'all seen, I had the handle part. I put new handles on it. Um, Put a new butt end on it, got rid of the wood, redid it, um, put all paracord handle on it. Uh, just got it off the uh, the rod turner, the drying rack, um, where I marbled it to white. Um, I just put the eyes on it. I'm getting ready to tie them in. They're just on with tape right now for replacement. Um, but I told you guys I'd show you kind of step by step um, after I did each step. I kind of jumped ahead a little bit. Um, I get ahead of myself, and I went ahead and I marbled it and put the put the uh, handles on it and the paracord handle. Um, but I showed you what it looked like a minute ago. But here's what it is now. Uh, there's a tip, as y'all can see. There's just tape holding these on in place. I'm getting ready to go in and tie these in. It's like four in the morning, everybody's asleep, so I'm outside filming this. But you can see it all white, of course. And then down to a nice pretty orange paracord handle. 
still I'm gonna try and clean this up a little more this real seat but you know got all them eyes nice and straight and then I put a big taper handle on this and an updated uh, butt stop a rubber big rubber butt stop on it but that's what I've got done so far I'll get back to y'all here in a little bit and uh, I'm going to get these tied in and I'm going to start marbling and I'll show you that process once I get it going hey y'all Big Bub here from Big Bub Great Outdoors Big Bub Outdoors whatever I'm still tired sorry I am sleepy just got up um, worked on this rod all day yesterday uh, I went to bed at about 10 30 this morning it's uh two o'clock in the afternoon now so not a whole lot of sleep uh, it's it's not perfect because my rod drying rack spinner fell apart so I'm going to have to see if I can fix it. If not, i got to order a new one. Definitely got to have a new one before I do my drawing. Um, but it is done. Yeah, it's mine, so I don't care about perfection. Uh, but I'm going to show you all what it looks like. And what what. Uh, at the beginning of this video, y'all seen where it started. It was a blue, greenish rod. The handle fell off of it. There was, you know, just nasty. I put new handles on it. I, of course, paracord wrapped it. I put a rubber butt grip on, butt stop grip on the bottom. Um, which y'all knew it had wood handles on it. I got rid of the wood. Um, I marbled it all white. And then, of course, you know, I did my favorite colors of orange and black on here. I put um, my bright silver logo instead of the gold this time. Uh, I did my reflective from the Here Kitty Kitty. Uh... So, I showed y'all from what it looked like. I showed you guys a little after, after I first got it mar marbled white with handles on it, and with just the eyes taped. Um, I got them finished wrapped up about 8 o'clock this morning. I finally got them all tied in, and then it went on to the marbling rack and drying rack. So, here's the... Uh, the finished product grab that logo here nice good shiny silver as y'all can see nice and orange marbling I even orange marbled my threads which you can see where it's uneven a little on the thread because the drying like here it's like perfect and then there it's a little because the drying rack stopped turning on me which it's not going to go nowhere but what it did is it leveled out as y'all can see my reflective but that is my rod restoration This is the restoration of a 1970s Wonder Glass. Heavy action. Will throw 12 ounces of lead. These things are meant to fish for anywhere from big cats to sharks. So, if y'all would like to see more detail on how I do things, um, 
how I put real seats on, how I put handles on, how marbling's done. Leave a comment down here at the bottom because this is my first time, you know, trying to do step by step. Um, I know I didn't show detail to detail. I did the step, showed you what it looked like, and then did some more, and then showed you. If y'all like that, you know, let me know. If you want to see me do something different, let me know. That way I can try and keep it going um, because <coughs> I got a rod to build for the uh, giveaway that we're having on the 16th. Um, good luck to everybody on that. If you ain't got in on that, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends. Everybody has until the 16th to get in. Go to my 100 subscriber video, and all you have to do is leave a comment. Down at the bottom, on the 16th, I'm putting everybody's name in a hat. And yes, I'm saying everybody's name in a hat, because I cannot figure out how to do that Google Shuffle thing. So... We're going old school. Everybody's name is going in a hat, and Anna's going to pick out a name, and that name that she picks out is going to be the winner. So, I'm Big Bub from Big Bub Outdoors. I'm going to catch y'all here in a little while. Bye-bye.